the only way you learn you pressure is to deal with pressure. Exactly. You got to get used to that bitch. Got to feel her. Know yeah. what she does. <laughs> how she tricks you. How she messes with your head. That's it. Messes with your head. You got to learn that too. That's a that's the big one. Just like you know, essentially, it's resistance. It's the same thing. That doubt. That creeping doubt. Makes its way. You got to figure out a way. The mind that. boy. Yeah. Mind boy. And we are all uh, contributing to this uh, collective g- guidebook of how to be a human. Yeah. You know. You know, one thing I've just recently started playing with. It occurred to me that there's little fears that we think of as trivial, and a trivial fear like a fear of spiders, or and and there's also things like, for example, for me, I have this block about doing a backflip on a trampoline, even like a super safe, super big one. And I can backflip into pools. I can do, you know, I'm a fairly athletic guy. But as soon as I go to do it on a trampoline, which is fairly soft, my body just freezes up and I lock. And I was talking to to my friend about it. And for me, you know, when you allow these fears that are disproportionate away from the actual danger to take hold, it's almost giving credence, you know, giving resistance like this little bit of mm. victory that can apply to other things. Or if you're, you know, so afraid of spiders, you can't even look at it, you know, just by doing that, it's acknowledging that you have some certain limitations, you know, and it's giving that other force that's going to limit you in life and deny you from achieving your goal, just a little bit more power. So even for me, and this is something I'm just recently playing with, these little trivial fears that we just kind of avoid, like, ah, oh, this doesn't matter. You know, who cares? When am I going to see a spider? I don't know. I'll fucking deal with it when it comes. Or who cares if I do a backflip on a trampoline, you know? In effect, it, practically, it doesn't matter. But as far as doing the little things to battle against these forces that are constantly looking to confine us, I think maybe it matters. You know, like maybe pushing through these seemingly trivial things, it counts, you know, it's an so exercise you for the set, mind. Yeah. Set yourself the task, Aubrey, to do that. Oh Start yeah, it. for sure. I decided that like last, like a few days ago. I haven't been home yet. I'm walking out to the trampoline and I'm pushing through that moment where my legs just say, "Uh, uh-uh, nobody, you're uh-huh. not doing this." And I'm gonna do it. I hope. I hope I can. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll see. I'll video it or something. I mean, try to figure it out. I would guess that the backflip is a metaphor for something else for you. It stands yeah. for something, right? Right. Um. I mean, we all have that stuff. For me, it's like claustrophobia. Yeah. You know, elevators, certain elevators I can't get on, you know, airplanes, really? you know. Yeah. And I know that it's, it relates to other stuff. You know, it's not, it's not isolated. Mm-hmm. You know? Have you ever done a sensory deprivation 